My name is Archibald Philip Primrose, but most people know me as Lord Rosebery. I was born on May 7, 1847, in London, and I came from a family with a long history of political involvement and public service. From a young age, I knew that I wanted to follow in my family's footsteps and make a difference in the world through politics. As I grew older, I became more and more interested in the world of politics and diplomacy. I attended Eton College and then went on to study at Christ Church, Oxford. It was during my time at Oxford that I began to develop my political philosophy and hone my skills as a public speaker. In 1878, I entered the House of Commons as a member of Parliament for the Liberal Party. I quickly gained a reputation as a rising star in the party, thanks to my eloquence and intelligence. My political career took off, and I held various ministerial positions in the Liberal government, including serving as Foreign Secretary. One of the most significant moments in my political career came in 1894 when I became the leader of the Liberal Party. This was a crucial time in British politics, and I was determined to lead the party to victory in the upcoming general election. In 1895, I became Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, a position I had aspired to for years. During my time as Prime Minister, I worked to reform various aspects of British society. I was a strong advocate for social welfare and education reform, and I also made efforts to improve relations between Britain and other countries, particularly France. I believed in the importance of diplomacy and peaceful international relations. However, my time as Prime Minister was not without its challenges. I faced opposition from various quarters, and my policies did not always receive widespread support. In 1895, I resigned as Prime Minister, but I continued to be active in politics and remained an influential figure within the Liberal Party. My political career continued until my retirement, but I never lost my passion for public service and my belief in the power of politics to bring about positive change. I passed away on May 21, 1929, leaving behind a legacy of dedication to the principles of liberalism and a commitment to making the world a better place through politics. Looking back on my life, I am proud of the contributions I made to British politics and society. I hope that my story serves as an inspiration to future generations of leaders who seek to make a difference in the world through public service and political action.